Every parent hates seeing their child sick with a fever. It's pretty awful to have one if you are an adult too. However, it is usually unnecessary and might even not be wise to hurry to the medicine cabinet when you or your child has a fever. So in this video, let us see why you shouldn't fight fever and how to handle it. Nothing bad is going to happen if you don't treat the fever. That's because a fever is a simply sign that you or your child is fighting off some kind of infection like a cold, flu or ear infection. Most bacteria and viruses that cause infections thrive best at normal body temperature. So a fever is evidence that the immune system is hard at work literally burning off the infection. In most cases, a fever is part of the body's natural response and it should be allowed to run its course. A lot of parents fear that a fever can cause brain damage to the children, but this is a myth. According to the National Library of Medicine, brain damage from a fever generally will not occur unless the fever is over 107.6 degree Fahrenheit, that is up to 42 degrees Celsius. Untreated fevers caused by infection will very seldom go over 105 degree Fahrenheit unless the patient is over breast, trapped in a hot place or has a pre-existing brain disorder. This is because the brain has an internal regulatory mechanism that prevents fevers caused by infections from getting higher than 105 or 106 degrees. Fevers boost the immune system. The evidence for letting a fever run its course is substantial. High temperature triggers the body's production of infection-fighting white blood cells. If you lower the fever, you may be affecting the body's ability to respond to that infection. Medication might do more harm than good. Most conventional methods of lowering a fever can do more harm than good. Recent evidence show that lowering a fever with medication might actually prolong a cold or flu. But aside from making your illness last longer than it has to aspirin, Tylenol, Motrin and Advil can have deadly side effects too in both children and adults. Here are some easy, natural ways to comfort someone who has a fever without using drugs. Give lots of water and herbal tea to stave off dehydration and help the body flush out the illness. Avoid juice and other sugary drinks because sugar can depress the immune system. An 8 ounce glass of water with a half teaspoon of natural sea salt and a half teaspoon of honey can help prevent or stop children's febrile convulsions by restoring electrolyte homeostasis in the body. Old fashioned cod liver oil can reduce the duration of the illness and provide important immune boosting nutrients like vitamins A and D. Most of your immune system is located in the friendly bacteria living in your gut. Give extra probiotics during illness to support the immune system. Call a doctor or go to urgent care right away if your child has a rectal temperature of 100.4 degrees or greater in fan, infant less than 6 weeks old. Young babies are at more risk for certain serious bacterial infections and fever is an indication of these. A fever of more than 2 to 3 days duration. High fever accompanied by lethargy, your child is limp and unresponsive, won't make eye contact or generally just looks and acts really sick. Constant inconsolable crying. So to conclude, a fever not surprisingly indicates that your child is fighting off some kind of infection such as a simple cold, the flu or an ear infection. It is not an illness in itself. In fact, a fever may do some good.